Hi guys, welcome to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 6.2, Circle Theorems. And this is a great B video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's start. So there are, in total, uh, four theorems in this um, qualification that you need to learn. The first one will be angles in the same segment. The second one will be angle at center. The third one will be opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. And lastly, alternate segment. These will not uh, make any sense right now, but I will explain them in the uh, ex example questions. So, yeah, let's start. So, the first one, this is angles in the same segment, and you have to find x. And quite literally, it's gonna be um, the you can find the answer quite quickly, and I'm gonna explain it with a line R going through right here. And so now we have a segment, um, a small se segment, and a major segment. So in the big one. Um, you know, you can note that uh, the two angles are basically came from these two points, and as long as they are from the same points, they will be equal, and that is the law of this theorem. So x is indeed twenty five degree, and the reason. Uh, the reasoning will be angles in the same segment can be short formed like that or you can draw the angle sign like that yeah so that is angles in the same segment so right now we have uh, angles at center which quite literally it's from the center of the circle and I might as well note that with a red color yeah like that just so you know where is the center of the circle and um this theory well this theorem uh, is about when an angle is on the opposite side uh, of this um subtended lines on the segment uh, it would be double at the center rather than the, um, if it's opposite and it's on the circumference if you double that it will be the angle at the center so you can write down an equation 2x equals 130 for this particular example and um, the reasoning is a bit long but um, yeah that's basically the reasoning behind and this is the circumference uh, well short formed it's acceptable this way and so you should be able to find that x equals to 65 so that is angles at center explained so now we have a cyclic qu quadrilateral um, this is uh, called cyclic because it's in a circle and quadrilateral because it has four sides or four corners, whichever you like, and there's one relationship between the opposite side, uh, opposite corners of these quadrilaterals, and that is, if they are opposite each other, they will sum to one eighty, which is, uh, lit, uh, displayed on this equation, with the reasoning opposite angle cyclic quadrilateral and this is the short form again um, so 
you'll get the answer 85 degree hopefully uh, and note that I can make mistakes as well so if you find any mistake tell me in the comments so finally uh, down to alternate segment theorem and that is uh, that can be a bit complicated but uh, as long as you know the basics then it's going to be fine and this one I'm going to demonstrate with a uh, pen uh, just so you know what's what and so in this uh, particular thing we have a circle within it it's a triangle and on one of the corners of the triangle is a tangent of that circle so this is a tangent and it makes 90 degree with the um, center but it doesn't really matter now because we're using it with a triangle so what is um, alternate segment theorem uh, alternate segment theorem is basically saying that this angle will be equal to this angle and as well as the other side this angle will be equal to this angle okay so just the coloring um, don't uh, get confused with the black lines that is just my bad let's say I'm just gonna want to say that these three corners are different so um, what we can do right now is to because we know that 75 here is equal to 75 here because alternate segment theorem so actually a red angle um, is equal to 75 because of the odds sec theorem short form again for convenience sake and you can do that in the exam as well it's acceptable um, so we know that this is 75 right now okay so what do we do to get x well we can just do uh, all angles within the triangle also known as the angle sum of triangle and that would be equal to 180 or if you want to you can do the opposite alternate segment theorem the 20 degree down to this corner and do uh, adjacent angles on straight lines and they sum to 180 as well so yeah this is basically uh, how to get x and I hope that you've got the answer x equals 85 so that is it the four um, circle theorems that I need to tell you about so yeah let's have some tips finding the circle theorems uh, can be a bit tricky but as long as you uh, take care at looking at them then you'll find them uh, quite simply also um, in the exam they might give you a question that requires you to use a few different theorems and do not um, worry about that because just label every angle with what you know about and you can do it step by step also sometimes you might need to construct uh, lines to answer questions and that is just um, it's quite rare that you need to do constructions but if you do then it's probably um, a line through point to point so you don't need to worry about that one as well so yeah let's get uh, do some practice question so uh, the question is quite simple actually it's just one but there are four parts a b c and d just find all of them I think you sh will be able to do this I purposely made this a bit trickier and I hope you can do this uh, well 
just do one theorem at a time starting from this particular angle and try and find things um, this is purposefully made um, messy just so you don't know which angle you need to use um, for uh, which rule do you need for each angle so yeah I am going to count down five seconds and um, the answer will be shown so five four three two one here we go um, these are the answers to the questions and uh, just to talk through them uh, because this is actually a bit tricky I find uh, when I construct this question so um, the first thing you should do is to do a cyclic quadrilateral either using this tri uh, quadrilateral or this quadrilateral and you should find that B and D are like opposite angles of the it and you will be able to find B equals 35 as well as D equals 35 if you do it one step uh, to a if you do B first, you can also use uh, same segment theorem to get D, vice versa. Then now, the tricky bit, C. How should we get that? Now, this is uh, the center. Oh, did I not mention that? Uh, never mind. I hope you know that. <laughs> and because this is a radius, it will make uh, 90 degree with the tangent. So we know the angle this, um, Wait a minute. Uh, okay, angle green is going. Uh, angle green plus D will be equal to ninety degree. We know what D is. We kn then we know what angle green is. Angle green is fifty five. So, what do we do next? Look, there is a triangle right here. So we can actually use alternate ang uh, alternate segment theorem to move this angle. To where C is so actually C is equal to 55 so that is the question explained that's a bit better okay so I've explained the question and the answer as well so that's a complete episode so if you learned something uh, please leave me a like and comments for more videos and yeah, I'm going to see you uh, in the next part. So, bye.